And then there were two tonight in the WNIT Memphis Regional. It's the championship final with a spot in the final four on the line. It's the Old Miss Rebels taking on the Colorado Buffalo. Good ball movement, and there's the corner jumper. Right down Broadway and getting the bounce is Johnson. She's off to another. It's the 16-17 season when they played in the WNIT. Johnson not that time. Rebels trying to advance to their first ever WNIT semifinal. Final shot. Austin over to Telly. She got it. They needed that one. They had gone pass. No, off that inbounds. Again, she's dangerous. And here comes Snowda Collins. Between three defenders, and that one finally bounced. Austin inside. Count the bucket and the foul. A great entry pass from four, and more than likely, she will be able to go. I'm not a doctor, but that's the news I'm hearing. And Madison Scott knocks down the J. And the Great feed. Danetta Johnson from Austin. And one second, and that's broken by that second free throw by Whitaker. 20 to 15, Ole Miss. And then very quickly down at the other end, it's Danetta Johnson. Six on the shot clock now. Snowda Collins. Rainbow three for Collins. Problem for J.R. Payne's team, 11 turnovers. That was pretty. And the bounce goes. Donetta John back in for Ole Miss. First double digit lead in this game. Pressure from Ole Miss. And they get another steal. Johnson lays it in with the left hand. Ole Miss has never been to the WNIT semifinals. Three on the shot clock for Mimi Reed. She launches the top of the key. Three, and she nails it. Five seconds now. Reed gives it to Collins, and she drains the three from the wing to end the first half. Snuda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, hey. Hollingshed with the long three, and the rebound for Donetta Johnson, who goes coast to coast and lays it in. Zone against this Ole Miss offense. Nesbitt, how about that? Valerie able to rebound, put back by Scott, unable to get it to go. Now Collins for an open three. She has it. Snoda with her. Seven on the shot clock. Austin in traffic. Great jump pass to Madison Scott for the bucket. And that will do it. Colorado can't even make the inbounds pass. And the Rebels end the quarter on a 5-0 run with 10 rebounds. That's a double-double, 11 points and 10 rebounds. Collins, pull up, got it, that's a two. Tatele drives, blocked by Scott. Foreman, blocked again. Right in the hands of Tutele, and she lost, or in the Knights' hand, and she lost it out of bounds. This to make it a three possession game. No. On offensive rebound, McGee puts it back in. And the Ole Miss Rebels are headed to the WNIT Final Four.